Okay, we're sitting in the airport, uh, waiting to get on a plane. I hear the, the ding dong from the uh, home security system. That's when the Kellys saw their neighbor at their door. Pretty normal, but what happened next had them scared and scrambling. We were a little ways apart because we we're traveling with the group. So I ran straight over to her and told her, you call the police. As their neighbor walks away, the Kelly's cat Gypsy is walking towards the door. And that's when it happened. Take another look in slow motion. Their neighbor winds up and kicks the cat right in the face. I was pissed. I was shocked. I couldn't believe somebody came on my property and squared up with my cat and just kicked it. Gypsy is doing okay now, but the Kellys are still livid, not just at their neighbor for landing this kick, but at law enforcement for doing nothing about it. How can somebody be allowed to just come over to my house and kick my cat in the face? To find out why nothing was done, I obtained the KCSO incident report. In it, the deputy refers to the kick as a shooing motion, but the Kellys say this is not a shooing motion. I mean, she squared up like she was trying to kick a field goal from my perspective and yeah, I, I was very discouraged that we were just cast aside by law enforcement. I've always, I've always believed in law enforcement and their mission and that was really discouraging to us, honestly. They don't want to take it serious. I, I wouldn't classify the cat being lifted off the ground and being kicked into the pillar as a shooing motion. The deputy's report also says charges weren't filed because Gypsy didn't have to go to the vet. But the Kellys say that's a bogus requirement after a kick like that. Why does it have to be escalated to that point where the animal's hurt to the point where it has to go see a vet? I mean, you're harming an animal regardless. I'm sure that didn't feel good to her.